Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm very excited to be bringing to you this video because a sister in Christ shared with me over a dozen rapture dreams and I'm going to be making videos about them. And this is one of those videos. But before I do, like, like always, I want to encourage you guys to go to the comment section of any of my videos. For example, in this video titled, Women Died and Went to Heaven, if you simply go down to the comment section, you'll see that I uploaded a long comment that has evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, please read the evidence I present and examine it. If you are a Christian, I also encourage you guys to read this evidence and learn it and please spread this. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it on social media. Do with it as you please. Also in the description box of all my videos, I have a message about the end times that I also encourage you guys to read it. It's about the Antichrist, fulfilled Bible prophecy, things of that nature. And the rapture too, it has, it has the rapture in there too. So if you're interested, read that. I will now be going on to the sister's rapture dream. Now getting on to Pamela's sixth rapture dream that she shared with me. She wrote, I dreamed I was hiking up a trail that I had hiked up before. It was a long hike on a trail up a mountain. When I got way up the trail, I stopped and looked up to the top of the high mountain. I could see a cave and white light was pouring out of the cave. I knew Jesus was here. I thought of climbing up to see him and I wanted to real bad, but it was a treacherous climb up the side of a cliff with rocks and I wasn't sure I could make it. So I decided I would hurry back down and tell everyone I could that Jesus was here. As I descended the mountain there was a flood of water coming down the trail I had walked up so I had to go a different way down. I walked through someone's private property because there was no other way to get down. Then a woman with very short hair came out and started harassing me about crossing through her property. As I descended further, someone else cursed and yelled at me. Then I woke up. The flood, of course, represents the days of Noah we are living in, and we are surrounded by mockers and scoffers. Wow, this was another powerful dream from God, and I really agree with what she said at the end. That the flood represents the days of Noah we are living in and we are surrounded by mockers and scoffers. I mean, we see that every day. When when we look in when we look at what's going on in the world, I mean, truly we are living like we are in the days of Noah, and there are so many mockers and there are so many scoffers. I mean, even even Christians nowadays are mocking and scoffing. Like if you warn that, if you warn a Christian that look, man, you have to repent of your sins, the rapture is imminent and if the rapture happens, you get left behind and they'll just start mocking and scoffing you and saying, oh no, that's not going to happen, this is not going to happen. And that those are just some of the prof fulfilled Bible prophecies about end times. For more, you can look in the evidence comment in the comment section of the video that I posted. There's more prophecies on that. And I like how um, in, in the dream that she decided that she would hurry back down and tell everyone that Jesus was here or Jesus was coming. But then she was getting attacked. I mean, if you try to ever preach the gospel and you, you, you've been attacked or like someone has suppressed you, please pray for that person that they come to know Jesus Christ and that God can use that person as a mighty servant to bring others to him. I mean... Look at the life of Paul of Tarsus. I mean, Paul was killing Christians, but God turned him into, into a mighty servant. And God changed his name from Saul to Paul. And Paul became one of the greatest Christians to ever live. I mean, God literally used Paul in such a mighty way that God reaped so much harvest through Paul. And if you're getting attacked by a person, please pray for that person because... God can use the most unlikely of persons to bring others to him. So if there's a person that you think, oh, if there's a person that's attacking Christians, or if there's a person that really doesn't like Christians, if there's a person that's giving you a hard time, you might think that's it for that person. All hope is lost, but please don't underestimate the power of prayer. God can literally turn a person 360 degrees and turn him into a mighty servant, just like he did with Paul. So please pray for your enemies. Pray for those that persecute you. And when you're sowing seeds, like let's say you tell someone about the rapture. Let's say you tell someone about the second coming and they don't they don't believe you, right? Well, they might not believe you now, but when these events take place, they'll remember what you said. And, and the seed and the seed that you planted in their minds will just grow and they will 
if they get left behind in the tribulation, God can use them to bring others to him. So never forget that. So thank you for listening. All glory to, all glory to God. God bless.